In the middle of the North Atlantic is a group of islands shrouded in fog and mist. Not many people live here. Those that do catch fish in the fjords and keep sheep on the mountains. It's not easy. Many young people move away. Johan wants to pursue his dreams in music and journalism. Soon he'll be off to Denmark. Of his high school class of 20, only three will stay in the Faroes. The general consensus of everyone that's roughly around my age is that that moving out of the country is the best option for, for anyone that wants to study anything or because of, also because of housing prices and things like that. Living in, the, living in the Faroes is extremely expensive. To understand the Faroes' demographic challenge, you need to travel to the smaller outer islands. This is the village of Mule, and what's sad about it is that no one lives here anymore. The last people left about 15 years ago. They just felt too isolated. And there are other villages like this in the Faroes today, remote communities with declining populations, all facing a very uncertain future. Ola Christian still comes back to the village to collect hay for his animals and remember the place he grew up. But he doesn't expect to see people living here again. In the capital, Torshaven, I met a couple with a typical story. Their two grown-up sons are in Denmark with young families and busy lives. So, do they believe their sons will ever live here again? I do have that hope, yes. I do not. I think they will stay abroad. I have accepted the fact that we will now grow old alone in the Faroe Islands. There is a thriving art scene on the Faroes, and some of those who go away in their 20s do come back to raise their families. But this will always feel like a place that is on the edge of the world. That's its drawback, but also its charm. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, on the Faroe Islands.